Have you ever wondered why most of the carrots we see today are orange? Well, probably not. This also didn't occur to me until I was shopping at my favorite local farmer market with my four-year-old nephew. He saw a bundle of carrots of different colors, and his cute little mouth went like this. Why are there purple, pink, white, and yellow carrots? Honestly, I did not know the answer either. So when I went back home, I sat down before my computer and decided to satisfy his little curiosity by doing some research. And now, before I present my finding to my little boss, I'm sharing it with you first. Today in Binge History, we will look into why orange is the dominant color in today's carrot family. And for this, we are flying to Holland. When people mention the Netherlands, cheese, windmills, tulips, or weeds are usually the first thoughts that come in your mind. And perhaps never the orange carrots. But do you know the Dutch and orange carrots go way back? To give you some information about carrots, all carrots, regardless of their color, are packed with nutrients. Also, they're relatively low in calories, with one cup of raw carrots delivering just 52 calories. Orange carrots are packed with chemicals called carotenoids, specifically beta-carotene. Your body converts beta-carotene into vitamin A, which protects you from getting sick and is good for your eyes. Beta-carotene is also loaded with orange pigment. That's why vegetables with lots of beta-carotene, like sweet potatoes, squash, and pumpkins, are also orange. On the other hand, one study shows that, compared to orange carrots, purple carrots contain twice the amount of alpha and beta-carotene. What makes them purple in color is anthocyanin. It is a terrific antioxidant that protects your body from oxidative stress, which is associated with many health conditions like cancer, heart disease, and aging. So, how did this super nutritious and colorful carrot lose its fight to the orange carrots in the World Carrot Tournament? Well, the answer is the Dutch, revolution, and patriotism. Many believe that orange carrots were invented by the Dutch in the 1600s. But this is not true, although the Dutch did do a great job in growing and spreading orange carrots. You know, the first carrots were not orange at all. They were stark white. You can trace these white carrots back to Iran and Afghanistan. And then in the 13th century, orange carrot seeds were first introduced to Europe by Islamic traders moving between the Ottoman Empire's North African territories and the Iberian Peninsula. And then, a document showed that the Spanish started to cultivate orange and purple carrots in the 14th century. However, these orange carrots did not become popular and widespread until the 16th century, during the Eighty Years' War, also known as the Dutch Independence War. In the late 1500s, the Dutch Low Countries were a Spanish colony, and it was ruled as the Spanish Netherlands. Under the Spanish authority, these Dutch folks became increasingly dissatisfied with the Spanish rule, especially with the heavy taxation and a policy of strict religious uniformity for the Catholic Church within its domains. At the time, all over Europe, Protestantism was on the rise after Martin Luther nailed his 95 These to revolt against the distorted Catholic rule. For example, no matter what you do, you can buy your way out of hell as long as you have enough money to pay the Catholic Church. And it was the resentment towards the Spanish authority and religious tension that led to the Eighty Years' War. You might probably be wondering, so how is carrots being orange related to the Eighty Years' War? You see, in this revolution, one of the main leaders was William I from the Netherlands, and he came from the House of Orange, Nassau. Yes, that's right. Now you might start to get a sense of why orange carrots are related to these Dutch folks. The House of Orange, Nassau, was a branch of the European House of Nassau, which could be dated back to the 11th century. And the name orange came from the land in the southern France William I inherited. So with a name like this, it was not a surprise why orange was a popular and respected color at the time. Well, even until today, the House of Orange is still the national royal family in the Netherlands and you can still see some orange Protestants in Europe. They even have a fraternity-style organization called Loyal Orange Institution, based in North Ireland to defend Protestant civil and religious liberties. So eventually, in the Eighty Years' War, William I's grandson, William III, united other European countries where Protestantism was gaining popularity to fight against the Spanish Empire. At the end, the Dutch won. 
To honor the almighty Williams House of Orange, Dutch farmers began to develop and cultivate orange carrots. What they did was to cultivate carrots with higher beta carotene in them. Because of Netherlands' mild and wet weather, these orange carrots grew pretty well and were more yielding and stable than their white and yellow counterparts. In the 16th century, Dutch was at its golden age in which their trade, science, art, and military were among the best in the world. They had colonies and trade business in many parts of the world, including America, Asia, Africa, and South America. They also occupied many parts of Africa for years. Dutch merchants then spread these orange carrots across the world and gradually the orange carrots became the norm. So now you know that orange carrots have come a long way to dominate the carrots labor market. I hope the carrot history can enrich your knowledge about the world we live in. If you know any fun facts about the Netherlands or any country you would like me to cover, please leave a comment below. And if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. That will be a huge support for us. Thank you for watching Binge History. See you guys next time. Peace.